Hello everyone, welcome aboard to a new video. Today we'll be explaining how to configure a Sysmo model's plug and fly Ethernet using ProSim 737. So, fasten your seat belts, we're ready for takeoff. To begin with, I'd like to stress that every Sysmo model contains an Ethernet card, which is the one that controls everything. Besides, likely for us, the latest release of ProSim does not require the use of SC Pascal scripts to control Sysmo's plug and fly models. The application recognizes automatically the Sysmo models with the help of the host port. By default, models are provided by Sysmo with the correct configuration. You can find more info on our website, and I will leave all the links you might need for this entire configuration on the description below as well, so you can check them out later. With all of that being said, I'm going to show you how ProSim 737 works and how to configure it. You have to identify your IP first by accessing the command prompt. You just have to write CMD on the Windows search bar and once the command prompt window has shown, write IP config and then press enter. Here you can check your IP. So we're going to copy that. Now we have to go to any web explorer and add the host IP. The three numbers code will depend on which model you want to configure. In our case, we're going to configure the forward overhead. The number will be 154. So we paste the number we copied before and we now write the host IP for the forward overhead. That is 154 and press enter and so now we see the forward config page. Here we can see our IP address, the one that we've written up here. This 154 is the host IP for the forward. Imagine you are actually configuring another model that is not the forward and its port is set as 154. Then you can always change it to the right one. For example, we are going to change it to 158. So then we have to click Save Board Config and go back to the Web Explorer and change the IP. But we don't really need to do this because it was already right. So let's go back to the 154. Here on the right we see the host board. It is essential that you don't change this unless it is the wrong number because if you change it, ProSim won't be able to recognize the models. Then the host IP is the computer IP to which the model will be connected. This process works exactly the same for every model. Let's try the pedestal. Instead of writing 154, we have to write 153. That's the pedestal host IP. As we can see, the IP address has the 153. Then on the right, we have the host board that in this case is 1153. And I repeat, you mustn't change this number or Prosim won't be able to recognize the models, right? As you will have noticed, thanks to Prosim, the configuration is super simple and quick. So now let's launch Prosim. That is the icon, so double click and it will appear in a second. Okay, so this is what you should be seeing on your screen. We have all these models connected. And now go to configuration. Click on drivers and now we have to look for Sysmo Ethernet boards support. Here it is and as you can see it must be enabled. Click on the advanced option. It will emerge another window. This shows all the models that are connected right now. So we can say that the configuration is completely done. It's finished and it's working. Okay, now that we have already configured ProSim, I'm going to show you the Sysmo models, all right? We are going to launch the batteries first. And this is how the Sysmo models 
look like right now. I'm back on the computer because maybe you don't have the forward. You have to open Prosim panel, which is a part of Prosim. You have all the models right here. Just right click and you can change to another model. Look for the forward over here. You just have to click on this cap to turn the batteries on and on this one as well and it will work exactly the same as it did when I did it on the physical simulator so basically that was it I hope this video was useful and before we say goodbye if you like more tutorials don't forget to like this video subscribe and turn the notifications on because it sure will be more. See you on the next one. Bye bye.